Today on Logan Lee Adventures is my last and final day in Argentina, but a first day in Brazil as I venture out to explore the almost mythical like seventh wonder of the world that is the Iguazu Falls on both sides of the borders. On the bus, it's gonna get filled up real soon because I was just one of the first people in lines. But on the bus to the Guazu Falls on the Brazil side, this is so cool. And it's a double decker bus, so on top, you have these open views. So you get to see a little bit of the trails until you hit into the park. Well, we are technically in the park already, but uh, until you get closer to the falls, and then you can get off at the second stop and then we're gonna walk around, explore the trails here. It's so cool already. Got off of the stop and now we're walking down through the trails. As you can see towards the fall. So this trail is actually built on the Guazu River. So it's fragile and oh my god, look at the <gasps> Yo! Oh my goodness. Can y'all see? Can y'all see? Look at that! Look at that! This is just a preview. We're getting there, we're getting there. <gasps> That's crazy. This is outrageous. This is nature. The natural seven wonders of the world. I can't believe I'm here on the Brazil side. Oh my goodness. Goodness, goodness, goodness. Wow. Wow, look at this. See all those waterfalls down there. The trail continues. I just can't believe I'm in Brazil. So I'm gonna compare what it's like to see the Guazu Falls from the Brazil side and what it's like to see the falls from the Argentina side. But I figured the first day in the Guazu Falls area, because the Guazu Falls National Park and the falls itself shares a border between Brazil and Argentina since I've been living in Argentina for the past few months just want to dive right into the Brazil side and see what Brazil has to offer <laughs> oh! <laughs> Yo! Wow. It just keeps getting better. This is crazy. This is absolutely madness. Look, this is like, okay, I grew up in Canada, alright? In Toronto, so we made visits to Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls is beautiful, it's cool. And then the other, I guess, big experience of waterfalls is Victoria Falls in Zimbabwe and Zambia. But the Guazu Falls, this is special. I mean, they're all special, but this is so unique. Like, this is like, how many waterfalls are there making up oh, this, this huge one? This trail is called Trujas das Cataratas and there's several lookout points that with each one, you get closer and closer to the falls. Ah! <laughs> I am running on pure adrenaline and just love right now out of nature, out of how just wondrous and fantastical our world is. What like beauty we have out there, you know? I feel like after the pandemic which lasted so long and being on lockdown and then you know like all the tragedies in the world is just the one remaining thing throughout all this time all these centuries is nature the falls has been here for so long and like to be able to explore the national park here and then just roam around this is it's really breathtaking These falls literally keep on going and going. Like, we only seen this side, this corner, but then the back there, it's even more. Like, that's crazy just to think of how gigantic it is. And also, it's like a nice moment to just feel minuscule, you know? Minuscule as a human being in the midst of nature telling me that that's a waterfall on top of another waterfall. Like waterfalls on waterfall here. And that's 
now gone to the point where I don't know if it's raining or if this is all just from the falls itself. It's getting drizzly and misty here from the waters out here. Do I need? Goodness, goodness, goodness. See, cool species of the Guazu National Park. Seeing cool waterfalls. Damn, what? I am in love. I am in love with Mother Earth. I am in love with Mother Nature. I am in love with this place. Damn. And there's so many viewpoints. Magnificent Falls. Y'all, these falls were created out of a volcanic eruption 200 million years ago. So I must say that they're gonna be here 200 million years later, half long gone before after a gone. Incredible. Oh, it's not raining, it's raining. No, I think it's just misty from the fall. You can see I'm soaked. So now I really want to know where did everybody get these ponchos from? Because I want a poncho. I'm soaked otherwise. They're rocking it. I want one. Uh, Why mad? How can you be mad when this is? You know? Do you like any worries, any other things in life right now? Things are going on. I can just put that aside because this is the bigger picture. This is just so much bigger than me. This couple saw me all drenched and soaked. And they were like, let me bless you with a poncho. This is so nice. They just gave me a poncho. Okay, I'm, as you can see, I'm clearly struggling to put it on. But now I have a poncho. <laughs> this is so awesome! They were so kind. <laughs> they asked me in Portuguese at first, but then they realized that I had no clue what they were saying, so then they switched over to English. Wow, look at this! Okay. <laughs> like little red riding hood, little translucent riding hood. Okay. <laughs> I honestly cannot get over or tired of these falls. And this is only just the Brazilian side, mind you. There's still the Argentinian side. These trails just wrap around the whole side, one side of the falls, giving this panoramic view all along the Guazu National Park. It's just like, come on, y'all. Like, book your next trip here. I don't think we're for the tourism more, but I'm like hyping this place. I was like, because it's so amazing, it is. <laughs> it's not done with me yet. No, no, no. This park is not done yet. Because just as I thought it was done, as, can you hear that? It's getting so loud. The thundering of the falls. That's because we're getting closer. That's what I mean. Just when I thought that the great, the, the biggest part of it is like to see it from above. No, you're gonna, you're gonna be on it. You're gonna be walking on it. This is, this is the equivalent of walking on water, y'all. Like, what? what? That, that is crazy. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Y'all. Ah! This is so cool. Oh my goodness. Finish, finish. Ah! Oh my god. 
god. Like this, like, look at how rapid these waters are. Can you even hear me? I don't even know if you can hear me. Man, I'll just do voiceovers for this part because I just love. I just love. That's the lookout tower. We're gonna go there later, but for now, we're gonna walk the walk. <laughs> what? I think this is my favorite trail that I've ever done in life. Like, To the heart of the beast now. Like literally the heart. Alright? Prepare yourself. Look at my hair! Gosh! Alright, after a beautiful, wonderful day at the Iguazu Falls on the Brazil side through back and forth immigrations on Argentina and Brazil side and collecting two new passport stamps for Brazil I am finally sitting down at Don Mario for much needed food Alright, Don Mario is this no frills, family run, parella. As you can see, it's just really casual. There's lots of different places in town and I hope that I am going to make my way there like tomorrow in the next few. But I want to start off with here because it's just laid back, casual and they have apparently, from what I've heard, a really bomb meat platter. So we're gonna give that a try, order that. Um, but for now, so fantastic to start with. Mm. Um, whew, I mean, that trail was beautiful, but I am tired. <laughs> This is crazy. I just found out. I didn't even know that. Look at this. It's so good. But this is all you can eat. So literally for right now about 10 euros equivalent, I can just keep ordering the meat as I finish. Like that's crazy. Look at this. Oh my god. I am going to be eating. I didn't even know that. Because that's what they mean by carne libre. <laughs> Ooh. Yes. Please. Day two of Iguazu Falls, back on the Argentina side. And all right, before we start today's adventure, I'm going to start off with a big, big meal. We get some beef de chorizo in a Malbec reduction. I know, sounds good. As well as bratlas, which are calamari, like calamari rings. I, I mean, I just can't help it. Like, I love them. And I saw them on the menu and I said, okay, well, you know, 
when in Guazu. It's not a thing, but might as well because it is my it is like the wrap up of the trip in Iguazu, so I might as well just go all out and enjoy it. Especially before hitting the trails today and seeing the falls from the Argentinian side. So I'm at this place called Colors Periela and Pizza, which is this kind of I mean it's huge. It's a huge place. It's like a two-minute walk from my accommodation in Puerto Iguazu. And apparently this place has been around for 30 years. At a place called Hito Tres Fronteras. And as you can see from this obelisk that is painted in Argentina's flag colors, this side represents Argentina. So Tres Fronteras, Three Frontiers. And as you can see, there's two other landmass across from us, aside from this one that I'm on right now. So since this is Argentina, so cool. <laughs> This one over here is Paraguay. And this one with the Ferris wheel, so cool, I wish I was here so I can go on it, is Brazil side. So here is the meeting point between three South American countries. Argentina, Brazil, Paraguay. Makes this cool triangle. This is the Rio Iguazu Superior, which means the Superior Iguazu River. So I'm crossing this bridge, actually several bridges, to the Devil's Throat. <laughs> I know, it's such an epic name. I can't wait to discover what it's all about. <laughs> the anticipation. <laughs> There are so many cool different species of birds all around on this pathway too. I was wondering what that rising smoke mist is and now that is the devil's throat. And you can see over here how it just the falls are plunging into one area. Woo! This is so cool. I'm probably going to be saying crazy so many times But look at that I'm right beside Rushing Falls Wow And just not even that far away All oh, this is so calm Hey, look at that just calm waters and then whew, it's like it's plunging into a crater so yesterday i was over there that's where we were on that side that's brazil side and we were seeing the falls so right now the mist is too strong but the watchtower the lookout tower somewhere right there so we were seeing it from up above on the other side so cool all the little animals coming onto the train okay on to the next one There's two circuits trails that you can do at Iguazu Falls on the Argentina side. There's the upper circuit, which we are heading on right now. And then there's the lower circuit, which gives you both really awesome views of the falls. So we're gonna, I think it each takes about an hour to do. So it is possible to do both trails in a day, which, you know me, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> And also just to explore and see fully of the Argentina side. 
along the way there are stops that you can look out like this just to see and experience the vastness of this park it's crazy wow okay now i can actually fully see the argentina side of the falls look at that all those waterfalls a rainbow The sun finally came out! Like, took you long enough! God! How magnificent this place is when the sun comes out! My verdict! There's a lot to explore on the Argentina side and Argentina side is definitely much bigger and there's definitely you can see more of the park but on the Brazil side I must say the views are just much more impressive of the waterfall of Iguazu Falls itself because you're looking onto Argentina side so at the end of the day definitely do both because both like the pros uh, you can't compare the two, you really can't. Even though they're one Iguazu Fall National Park, but they offer two different things. And there's just two, make, make a weekend out of it, you know? And there's just so much to explore and experience here that I wouldn't trade one side for the other because you just gotta do both, Argentina and Brazil. This is the lower circuit and you can see the lower circuit you literally get right up to one of the many falls in Iguazu. Unbelievable! Right up to it! Woo! I feel like this is my rebirth! Woo! I think I get why this is the seven, one of the seven wonders of the world. I think, you know? <laughs> Let me show if you can hear me. <laughs> Iguazu Falls is an 
epic plays that will overflow your adventurous cup with a sense of thrill and childlike wonder. Leave me a comment below on what you think of the Iguazu Falls on both of the Brazil side and the Argentina side. And give this video a like if you haven't already. Subscribe to my channel as well because while I'm wrapping up my Argentinian adventures, in the next vlog, we'll be going to another side of the world to explore the gems that you wouldn't want to miss out on there.